hello guys welcome to my channel welcome to this reading so today we're going to look at how you can activate your luck how you can finally manifest your dreams it's basically like your spirit guides giving you very detailed advice on how you can finally manifest and most importantly attract everything that you want money success love whatever you dream of right now even if you don't necessarily know what your purpose is or how exactly you want your career to look like or how exactly your um, how exactly the abundance will manifest in your life this reading is still for you because we're going to look at um, what you can do to activate your luck to activate the abundance in your life to bring the abundance into your life to bring luck into your life to bring success into your life i also channeled some messages that came directly from your spirit guide they really made their presence known so i think this is going to be a very intense and long reading in the next clip you can see three piles that you can choose from what i like to do is i like to calm down close my eyes and then i feel which number i'm drawn to so maybe this will help you to tune into your intuition and to choose your pile. But anyway, now we're going to look at how you can finally manifest your dreams in 2021 or whenever you watch this video. This is a timeless video and we are going to see how you can finally activate your luck, activate abundance, activate golden opportunities coming to you out of nowhere <laughs> so i hope you like this reading and i'm going to see you in your reading <laughs> Hello my beautiful pie number one, so you chose this little magic potion here. <laughs> so first of all, um, when I was shuffling your cards, your spirit guide literally came through. Like I literally saw your spirit guide while I was shuffling your cards. And I also channeled some messages, I wrote them down. So I heard, I saw this, I want this. So what I feel with this energy is that you recently saw something or you see other people living the life that you want to live or you saw somebody like buying a big villa and you want to have this villa. It's almost like you saw something and now you want it. You are really like, um, how can I say that? You're really like aware of your desires like this is what I desire this is what I want I saw other people do it I saw I saw other people achieving it so you're like I see this and I want this I also heard um, new beginnings and come with me I literally heard come with me and I didn't plan to tap into um, a spirit guide what spirit guide is with you um, but I was uh, I was called to do that because your spirit guide said come with me so I have some um, angel cards some spirit guide cards and we're going to look at what spirit guide is with you before we start with your reading because this energy was very very strong so let's see spirit guide of pie number one make yourself known <laughs> this almost sounded like a spell or something who are you oh Wow, you have Mother, Father, God. So what I feel with this energy here is it's literally the universe. So it's not a specific spirit guide, but it's almost like Mother Earth, the universe in general. Like when people say, I believe in the universe or the universe is going to make it happen. It's like the whole universe is with you. You know, when you talk to trees, you are talking to the universe. When you are talking to the sky, I feel this energy of like, talk to the sky, because that's how you connect with Mother Earth. That's how you connect with the universe. When you literally are outside taking a walk, that's you're already connected to the magic of the universe. You're already connected to the universe. So I feel this energy here with, come with me, that the universe wants you to talk more with them, 
Again, you can go outside, you can sit on a bench, you can literally talk to the sky, ask for signs, ask for help, and they will hear you because they are with you. They're saying, come with me. I also felt this energy here with the new beginnings that it's time for a new beginning, time for a new chapter for you. So that's very beautiful. I mean, look at that. This literally looks like source or when you are, are like sun gazing or something like that. But it's definitely out in nature. It says mother, father, God. So, you know, you could say God is with you. But I like to say the universe because I like the term universe more because it, it's like universe or like everything is God, you know, not just like a church, not just a Bible, but the tree is God, the birds are God, the sky is God, you can talk to the moon, you can talk to the sun, so I feel this energy here that your spirit guides want you to go out in nature and talk to them. Um, now let's get into your reading. So what your spirit guides want you to know when it comes to you manifesting your dreams, they want you to go with the flow. So I feel this energy here that you have been very stagnant the past couple of weeks or even months. Um, almost like um, nothing is happening in your life, nothing is, you know, there's no movement, nothing, there's nothing exciting, no movement. We literally can't go out because of the whole situation out there, the whole health crisis that we currently go through. And I feel you have been locked up at home, you have been like sitting there like, I want this, I saw this and I want this, but it's almost like, um, I feel this energy of like, uh, you don't know how to get there. Or you just feel stuck, you feel like, I can't go there right now, or I can't do this right now, I can't go on vacation like other people, I can't, um, you know, I can't just uh, do this and do that. So you kind of almost feel like a little bit stuck in your situation, or you feel like you're locked up. So what the universe wants you to know is that you should get a little bit more flowy, you know? Don't stay stagnant. If you sit down and you feel bored at home, the universe wants to let you know that you should try new things, is what I'm picking up. Try new things um, in order to get the energy going, you know? Because when we only sit and we do nothing, although we want a lot, then nothing is happening. So what I'm picking up here is with the... Uh, with the uh, flow like water, or oh, what does it say? <laughs> yeah, it says flow like water. It's like going with the flow. And what does that mean? Going with the flow, hold on. Going with the flow just means, um, you know, tapping into this energy of the universe, like, oh, I might as well just take a walk, you know, walk outside just a little bit, just uh, not with no real intention behind, but just it, just because it feels good. So the universe wants to wants you to tap more into what feels good at this point in moment. You have a lot of dreams, you have a lot of desires, and it almost, you know, I, I, I understand the frustration of like, I'm stuck here, and other people have this cool life, and other people do this and that, and I'm just here, you know, but the universe wants you to, you know, move a little bit more in life, just go out, do random things, you know, um, you know, start drawing, start doing things just for you to kind of like connect with your creativity and your heart again. Um, and because the universe can like, the universe usually talks uh, with signs and symbols and synchronicities, right? But when you're just stagnant, then how can the universe bring new experiences to you or new information to you? So it's almost like go out on a walk, you know, you might get like signs from the universe when you go out on a walk <laughs> as far as it is possible where you are at um, or tapping into like new books or tapping into new podcasts, tapping into new movies, you know, because we also have the read card here. Hold on a second <laughs> to get the card up here. So it also says read. There is a book that the universe wants you to read. It's like this book will activate something inside of you. It's almost like if you see it on uh, on the card, the book has a diamond. So it's almost like you will come across a book that will literally teach you how to make a million dollars, that will literally teach you how to manifest like a master manifester. So definitely, since we are at home and we cannot really do much, it's the best time for you to read books and absorb all the knowledge. If I could recommend a book, if you don't have anything in mind um, and you feel like you like it, I would uh, recommend the book Fail Big by Ellen Scott. It's freaking amazing. I love it and I would recommend it to everybody. Ooh, the smoke is a lot here, huh? <laughs> Sorry. Um, yeah, so the universe is... 
it's like there is a book outside in the universe that will literally change your life the diamond tells me you will come across a book that is almost like gold like golden wisdom this book will transform your life and transform um, your thinking patterns transform um, the way you manifest you know it's like there is a book outside that is freaking special or even several books tap into books is what the universe wants you to know in order to manifest uh, we also have the card here health checkup um, this reminds me of, um, do you know the saying, your health is your wealth? So what the universe wants to let you know is that the more you take care of your health, um, the more you will, it's like health becomes, uh, health comes first before you create your wealth. So when you make sure that you feel freaking amazing in your body, that you eat healthy, that you drink enough, that you also maybe go to the doctor if you have been, if you had have problems or with something, find alter alternative medicine, find herbs for something. Like if you have had a headache for a long time, maybe it's time for you to drink more or to find alternative medicine or to go to a doctor because when you are freaking healthy, when you feel good in your body, when you f when you nurture your body with uh, good food and water and even like doing some sports and stretching and all of that, that's when you feel comfortable in your body. That's when you like, because our body is a vehicle. So let's say our body is a car, but when the car, um, you know, when the, when the wheels are not really going or there's like a, you know, a bad smell in the car or whatever, um, you know, it makes it um, a little bit more harder to get to where we want to be, right? When, when our car is not really like fully, you know, um, in its glory, <laughs> then it's a, a little bit harder to transport um, that for the car to transport us from one one place to another place So what I'm feeling here is that you really should look out for your health Before you manifest all your dreams like your health is connected to your dreams is what the universe wants you to know I also feel this energy here um, With the rescuer card it says Provide strength and support to others in crisis. Acts out of love with no expectation of reward. Yeah, exactly. And it came out together with this energy here. So it's almost like doing things out of love. You know, you want material things. You want this certain lifestyle. But what the universe wants to let you know that the more that you tap into love, the, the closer you are to manifesting success, the closer you are to manifesting your true love, the closer you are to manifesting in general, because the love frequency is a very high vibrational frequency. So when you do things out of love, it's almost like things come to you very naturally. The more you radiate love out into the universe, the more things can manifest. And the, uh, the love energy that they're talking about here is doing things that you really like you know doing things that you really like because when you do things that you really like you are in a happy mood like dancing for no damn reason doing things for no damn reason but for the sake of having fun for the sake because you love it from the depth of your heart I also feel this energy here of like tapping into your childlike energy because ch children uh, usually don't do things with like a um, with an agenda. They just do things because they like to do it. They go out and run and sometimes we're like, why the heck are you running? But they just felt like running in this very moment. There's no reason behind it, you know, or they want to go out um, with crayons and do some, um, you know, write something on the floor, you know, and it's like there's, they have no reason behind it, but only this energy of like, I love to do that and it makes me happy. So the more you tap into that energy, the more you tap into that energy of like, I do things because they make me happy and I do things um, and I use everything that is available to me right now. Like if I love to, you know, cook, why wouldn't I cook? It brings me into this energy of like, oh, happy and happy go lucky and all of that, you know? So I feel here, that's what the universe wants you to know. Like when you tap into the energy of like, flowing like the water because the funny thing is when we do things out of for no reason or just because we feel like it we are literally acting with our intuition because we also have the high priestess card here first of all the high priestess card here if you can see in the background she has a whole bunch of books so i feel like the universe literally wants you to get um, books you know that are going to occupy you occupy your time because the funny thing is with books um, you're still sitting inside you know like this card here 
you're still sitting inside, you know. But what happens when you read books is your energy changes or your perception of life changes, you know. And a book can literally turn your whole life around. If I would tell you all the stories where a book changed my life from being depressed and having a damn breakdown to feeling the uh, like the luckiest person alive, you know, I read the book um, Eckhart Tolle, uh, The Power of Now. And this book changed my damn life. Although it's just a little book and you're sitting in your room and it's almost like nothing is changed around you but something is changing inside of you when you read books so the universe wants you to tap into this could also be that the universe wants to it wants you to tap into like even buying your own cards buying your own oracle cards your own tarot cards you know it's like occupy your life more with like the mystic things you know the things that you are drawn to um even like also getting, I feel like getting personal readings from other people, you know, like a personal reading could also be in the cards here, that you get a personal reading here. I mean, this is a general reading, but <laughs> maybe you want to get like a personal reading from somebody. So I feel this energy here, your luck is activated and everything is manifesting. Once you have a knowledge from specific books, like books will literally ch change your whole life, you know. Um... What else do we have here? Hold on, yeah, tend to the small things. It says tend to the small things. So again, you want the big things, you want the big car, you want your true love, you want a huge house, you want a career like where people look up to you. Those are like big things. But you know, um, <laughs> um, like a poem that I used to write like back in the days just came into my head. It's like, um, Walking your way to your dream starts with one step. We usually think like um, we have to make like big changes in our life in order to get the big things, which is true. But we not just only do big changes, but we also do small changes, like changing something up in your diet, for example, like not drinking soda anymore. All of a sudden you lose like 10 pounds, you know, or um, just having a little candle in your room and all of a sudden you like your room even more or you can or you feel more relaxed. It's like small things make a huge change. So the universe wants you to make small changes in your life and change things up, like do things that excite you. Because again, I feel like you have been bored or you have been sitting in your house feeling like nothing is moving, everything is stagnant, your life is stagnant. Um, also because of this whole situation but the universe wants to let you know like when you do small changes now they will amount to a big change i also hear this proverb if you think you're too small to make a change um sleep with a mosquito or something like that do you know that proverb it's like you know if you if you think that small changes are nothing or uh, I don't even know what the proverb was like but it was literally like you know if you think that you know a small thing will not change your life try to sleep with a mosquito like the mosquito will bite your <laughs> your whole body and it will itch and all of that it's going to make like a big change in your life you know so that's what the universe wants you to know tend to the small things do small things that make you freaking happy tap into your intuition the high priestess is all about intuition we tap into our intuition when we feel like i feel like putting on a candle or i feel like talking to the universe or i feel like crying you know or i feel like drawing it's like you're going with your i feel like you should go a little bit more with your emotions rather than with um being fixated on the material things. Don't get me wrong, visualizing what you want and seeing the villa in front of you, you know, is, is, is awesome. But um, what is going to help you to bring more excitement into your life uh, in order for your luck to be activated and in order for your manifestations to come through and for abundance to come through and for your wishes to come through, the universe just wants to let you know um, Tend to the small things, do small changes, they will amount to a big change. You know, for example, like a person that goes out for a walk, um, you know, hitting 10,000 10, steps a day, this person might also lose weight, you know, it's like a big change. Um, I think you get <laughs> what I'm saying because I was like thinking about more examples, but I think you know what I mean. Um, what else do we have here? We also have the scarab beetle spirit. 
So this is another spirit animal that is with you when it comes to your manifestation. What I'm feeling here is that the universe wants you to tap more into its magic. You know, it's very interesting because we go through life not believing in magic, but it's like, for example, every human being on planet Earth used to be a little liquid, like, you know, sperm, like a white liquid. How is it possible that we used to be like a drop of liquid? And this drop of liquid makes like a whole fetus and all of a sudden we grow teeth and we're just a whole human being. Or for example, how with seahorses, the man gets the babies. It's like, you know, it's actually not possible that, you know, men have babies, but a seahorse can have a baby. That's like fathers, like the seahorses, the, uh, the male seahorses get the babies, you know. And also, if you think about that we live on planet Earth, you know, it's like a round ball in space that is flying. And because of gravity, we don't fall off and we are surrounded by like a huge sun and huge planets. And we are surrounded by... Uh, a big galaxy of a thousand stars and we don't even know how the heck <laughs> we came on earth you know it's like the universe is full of magic the universe is full of magic you are magic that we exist as magic that we used to be a drop of liquid and then we turn into a whole human being like let's say we would live on another planet and you would tell somebody like you know, this little liquid would turn into a whole human being and this whole human being, um, you know, it's, is creating their life, you know. We would say, are you crazy? This, it, it, this is not possible, you know, like this is not possible. But, you know, the fact that we live on a blue planet that is living in this, uh, that, that is flying in, in the sky, you know, is magic, you know, tap into that magic, tap into that magic of the universe. Think about all the things that are freaking like magical, like that we cannot explain, you know. Like life is not as ordinary as we think, it's actually magical, but we have been so caught up in like, you know, everything that we created on earth that we sometimes forget like, wow, our origin is, even our origin as human beings is freaking magical, you know. Um, let's see, <laughs> what else do we have here? We also have um, balancing justice and compassion, managing the fair distribution of power. Yeah, so I feel here that you need to balance yourself a little bit more. It's like bringing your life back into balance. What does balance mean? Balance means that you feel in harmony. And what do we do in order to feel in harmony? That it's up. To, uh, this is up to you. What brings you harmony? What makes you feel calm? What makes you feel content? What makes you feel secure? What makes you feel excited? You know, tap into your into your emotions. You know, when you feel harmony, when you feel love, when you feel excitement, that's when the magic happens. That's when our wishes come true. That's when the universe can come through with what you wished for because the frequency is high and the frequency, um, you know, it's like you are ready to receive everything because, you know, having a villa or like getting a golden opportunity to become a model, um, you know, if you, if somebody's approaching you, telling you like, oh, do you want to become a model? It's like a big opportunity. And what would you feel in this very moment? You would feel excited, you would feel happy, you would feel at peace, you would feel harmonious, you would feel confident, right? So you have to, mm, your spirit guide is here. <laughs> Literally saw it. Um, so if you would feel all these positive emotions in this very moment, that means that this model contract and the way you feel are on the same frequency. And that doesn't mean that we are not allowed to feel low and that we're not allowed to cry because crying is actually good. That's when you release all the energy. That's when you release all the energy that is like stuck in you. So it's not about like being happy all the time. It's more so like tapping into your energy. When you feel like crying, cry for three freaking hours and then get up and you know, um, you know, put on a candle or do some aromatherapy. It's about not getting stuck in sad emotions 
definitely expressing sad emotions because it's about the yin and yang. It's not only about like feeling happy and you know happy go lucky all the time. It's also about feeling low, feeling like I have a breakdown. Cry it out, scream it out, tell the universe that you're frustrated. That's completely fine. This energy has to come out of you. But to find the balance between tapping into your emotions that are let's say challenging but also tapping into what makes you feel like you want to dance what makes you feel like you want to jump out of happiness you know um we also have the virgin card here so the virgin card says maintaining symbolic purity of heart and spirit mm -hmm. purity of heart and spirit is all about the ch the child within us but that energy i strongly feel virgo energy so virgo energy is all about health it's about the sixth house it's about wellness it's about health and wellness so i feel like um the universe wants you to um, become pure again in a sense where you um, eat as healthy as possible drink enough you know um, it, it, I, because I feel here with the virgin card this it's like coming back to the basics coming back to the child within you coming back to wanting to be healthy and making healthy choices you know again it's not about eating clean 24 7 but it's about um, mainly making healthy choices and making sure that you drink a lot, making sure that everything is okay with you. Also listening to your body. If you have been having a headache for a long time, maybe there is something that you need to change up. You know, maybe that there's something that you have to give up or maybe there is something that you should incorporate in your daily routine because your health is your wealth. That is what the universe wants you to know. Your health is your wealth. Um, we also have the Two of Cups here. I feel this energy here um, because uh, if we look at the card, the Four of Pentacles here, I feel here maybe you want to manifest your true love or um, because I feel here that the universe, if you look at it, this is like this person's all by themselves, you know, locked up and all of that. And this here is like very freeing, but also you are with a person. So this could be your best friend that the universe wants you to connect with your best friend and talk with your best friend and even manifest with your best friend is what I'm picking up here. Um, so it's like find people that are on the same wavelength as you, you know, um, you don't have to do it alone is what I'm feeling here. You don't have to do it alone. If you have a best friend, manifest with your best friend. Also, this for me also talks about your relationship with the universe. Like, um, because your spirit guides in the universe definitely came through and they want you to connect with them. So uh, it's also about strengthening your connection with the universe. That means you talk to the universe, you talk to the sun, you talk to the stars, you talk to the moon, you take like a night walk, you know, just to like inhale the energy of the universe is what I'm feeling here. These cards also very much look similar in a, you know, <laughs> you know, I, this looks so freaking amazing. Look at that. This looks like, you know, it's a vortex or it's almost like um, a portal. And this is like one person. All of a sudden, boom, the second person is here. So I feel like you literally want to manifest your true love is what I'm feeling here. Um, and it's about to happen, guys. It's about to happen. Really, that's what the universe wants you to know. It's about to happen. The more you are on the frequency of love, the more you are on the frequency um of just enjoying what you have in the moment because that would change your frequency and when you change your vibration and your frequency and your energy that's when everything is manifesting but i feel like a portal is open i feel like your spirit guides are very very if you ask for a sign now they would deliver they are very strongly here i can feel them i can see them and um it's just a, it's just a very very beautiful vibe of like the relationship that you have with the universe is what I'm feeling here. Strengthen the relationship that you have with the universe. Um, we also have the canary spirit. It's like a beautiful yellow bird. It says, sing your own song. So I also feel here um, that the universe wants you to... What I'm picking up is like listening to the birds chirping. I feel like there is something happening when you do that. 
even subconsciously, even if you don't feel it consciously, but subconsciously there's something happening to you. I feel like watching the birds fly, watching the birds chirp is going to really like connect you to the universe. Maybe the bird is also like um, a, f um, a, a, a spirit animal that is currently in your life. Like you want to be free, right? A bird is like free, a bird is able to fly. Even that birds can fly. It's also like a miracle. I feel like it's freaking amazing. Even that we created freaking planes to fly from one continent to another. It's freaking magic, you know, like, you know, back in the days when we were cavemen and cave women or whatever, we would have never thought that this is possible, you know, that this must be magic. Like, this cannot be possible, you know? So we get so used to like all the, ma like there are miracles and magic everywhere but we get so used to it because we're there all the time right it's almost like when you are in the situation it's hard for you to sometimes see how much is going on around you you know so we sometimes take things for not necessarily for granted but we we see life as if it was ordinary although it's the complete opposite of ordinary if we really truly think about it and take a minute to look at everything that is happening you know like, for example, let's say at some point they will say, oh, um, it's possible to live on another planet or we see aliens in the sky, you know? Right now we would think, what the heck is wrong with you? What did you smoke? <laughs> but, you know, maybe like in 10 or 20 years, it's a normal thing, you know, but still it is magic. So what I feel here is um, tap into your freedom, express the freedom that you feel or express do tap into things that make you feel free you know children when they go outside and they again run for whatever reason and we don't know why the heck they're running from a to b and then from, again from a to b um that's when they express their freedom when a child runs free just because this is freedom tap into the energy of freedom what brings you freedom if you love to dance and you feel free dancing, if you feel freedom when you dance, tap into that energy and watch how everything will change in your life, you know? Now we also have a, I don't know what they're called, I think Oceanic Oracle or something like that. It says, change the direction with ease, you know? With ease. It's not just change the direction, but it's change the direction with ease. Make it a little bit more fun. Make your day-to-day -day life a little bit more fun, a little bit more intuitive, a little bit more random, doing random things just because it feels good or like the little voice inside of you tells you like, hey, I want to do this today, you know? So it says, it is time for change. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Um, shape-shifting or soul's evolution it is time to reconsider what you are wanting you may be in for a surprise so the universe wants to surprise you watch how when you ask for a sign or when you ask for like a synchronicity or something watch how it will come to you there is a there is a surprise waiting for you the universe wants you wants you to change your direction keep the energy flowing like you know keep keep the movement keep the keep the relationship between you and the universe is what i'm picking up here so guys this was a long reading i hope you liked it i hope it was helpful to you and i would love to see you in my next one bye hello my beautiful pie number one so you chose this beautiful magic potion over here we're going to look at what the universe wants you to know because of pie number one i'm also guided to get a card um, finding out what spirit guide is around you right now but oh yeah and I also channeled a message so maybe let's start with the message that I heard and uh, for you so I heard the word Forrest Gump maybe you have been recently watching the movie or it's like your favorite movie or there's some some synchronicity in your life with that movie but what I would what I felt with that energy with the Forrest Gump energy I felt that you are just a very, very unique person and not everybody understands you. You might look like a weirdo to other people or you might look like somebody that doesn't do things the traditional way or you're more so like somebody where like people don't really understand you, people don't really get you, you know? So this is the energy that I'm feeling here. Like 
and what I was also feeling is that the universe wants to let you know because you are so weird, because you are so unique, that's literally the reason why your life will not be the same as other people's life. You know, let's say, you know, everybody has their traditional jobs and their traditional life and all of that and you're somewhat like doing different things and you're interested in different things, you you have a different, um, you have a different um, outlook on life and all of that and they would look at you like, hmm, this person's a little bit weird, you know. That would be, that would be literally the reason why you will succeed in life, but let's move on. I also heard the word participate, so with that energy I feel here um, that it's time for you to participate in something this could be like participating in a webinar or participating in like a class or a session or you know like par like participating in some sort of like i don't know what this would be you know participating into like a class how to you know learn something something along those lines so i also got the vision of like a um like a uh, like a blonde curl I saw like a blonde curl, so maybe you have been thinking about dyeing your hair blonde or maybe you have curly blonde hair. Um, this is just a confirmation that the or your spirit guides that the universe or your spirit guides are talking to you if that's the case. But what I also was feeling here is because I heard the word golden lock, but I saw a curl, like a go like a golden or blonde curl. So what I feel with that energy here is that you are about to unlock something. But we we will look into the cards, maybe we will see what exactly this is about. So let's look at your cards. What the universe wants you to know, how you can manifest your dreams, your desires, your true love, abundance, golden opportunities. We will look into what that will look like, how you can do that. Hmm. Let me see what that is about. So first of all, with this energy here, we have connect with fire. We have connect with fire here. What I feel with that energy here is that you would benefit from doing rituals with fire, which could mean putting on a candle and praying, or this could also mean like burning, you know, when you write something to manifest that you burn it. Um, this you would you would benefit from it. Maybe you are a fire sign or, or there's like a special connection um, that you have with fire. Um, I'm also feeling here that it's I feel here of like some type of like letting go of something that you have been going through a little bit of conflict or not necessarily like in your surroundings but mentally you have been a little bit a little bit conflicted with the way things went and the universe wants to let you know in order to move on from that conflicting mind it is um, very beneficial for you to you know light candles in your room maybe it relaxes you even subconsciously or to like do some rituals where you let go of something like you write down what you are frustrated about then you write down that you are letting this go um with um burning this paper you know this would uh, very greatly benefit you in order to manifest your dreams or to you know write down what you want to manifest and then burn it in a like in a burn a burning bowl i think it, you call it burning bowl um anyway we also here also have your dream journal so this definitely has to do with you journaling first of all what you dream because if you have been having very weird or very vivid dreams the universe wants you to keep track of your dreams because they will make sense there will be specific messages that your spirit guides will send you in your dreams so you have to pay attention to your dreams but i also figured that for you it's very simple the universe wants you to manifest or how you can manifest all your dreams and your wishes in abundance is by writing them down as though everything already happened is what i'm feeling here i also feel here putting a paper under your pillow you know in order to <clears throat> in order to like because everything that we write also has like a an energy so when you write something down and you put it under your pillow this might also be something that is going to help you to manifest your dreams. But overall, um, I feel here 
because we also have the visionary card. It says capacity to envision what is not yet conceivable to others. Look at that. Willingness to proclaim a vision without regard for personal gain. And it came together with this card here. So I feel like you either the, either the universe wants to let you know that you are on the right track with your vision. Like what you envision your life to be is literally what your purpose is or what the universe also planned for you. But I also figure that you will have and that you have very vivid dreams and that the universe wants you to tap more into your vivid dreams and write them down but also to have like a vision that you know when we you know journal we do have a vision and we do make this vision come true first of all we make the vision that we have in our mind come true on paper before it becomes reality in this 3d world so what i'm feeling here is that the universe wants to let you know you have psychic abilities that the universe wants you to tap into is what i'm feeling here so um <laughs> sorry my back is hurting a little bit because I was uh, working out so with the visionary card I feel you are either very very like um, gifted when it comes to psychic abilities because you do have dreams and maybe you cannot always make sense out of them but if you write them down they will make sense at some point so the universe wants to let you know that they do send you visions in your dreams in order for you to move on you know in order for you to activate your luck and activate your life of abundance and to manifest everything but also to write down what exactly you want and let it happen you know also what i feel here is that if you write down what um, you want or how your dream life looks like and after you're done writing it you envision it you know like for 10 or 15 minutes and then you go to bed i think this is like the universe wants to let you know that this kind of combination will also um, have an effect on your sleep and then you might get visions that are very important, you know, that have very important information here. Um, let's look at the other cards here. Yeah, look at that. I love it. It says, dream the world into being. You see? So if you have been thinking about envisioning you know what your life what what your dream life would look like and if you do that daily watch how things will manifest watch how all of a sudden things start to happen you know we also have here the mother card it says nurturance patience unconditional love joy and giving birth to life um we also have the card um, because I feel like they're all connected with each other. It's a very strong energy here, to be completely honest. I actually forgot to tap into your spirit guide. We're going to do that after I'm done with these cards here. So what I'm feeling here is we also have the uh, card Nourish Your Temple. So what I feel here is, especially with that card, I feel like those two are connected. Because what the universe wants to let you know is nurture your own body your own temple nurture yourself the way you would nurture a baby you know the way you would nurture a little child is what i'm feeling here because i feel here that you are about to have like a big glow up even in your outer appearance like i feel like you are becoming the most beautiful self you have ever been with the swan spirit here look at that i feel such a strong energy of like the divine feminine or like the female energy rising inside of your body and therefore creating everything that you ever want. It doesn't matter if you are male or female, but it's about the energy of like a, the love of a mother. You know, if, if a mother would not nurture a baby, it would not prosper. It would not become bigger. It would not become strong. So I feel here this energy of like being a mother to your own self, you know, making a decision. Oh, yeah. So yesterday I was on Instagram and I saw a video by Teal Swan and she um, wrote a book about um, 360, 365 days of loving yourself and I found it very interesting because she said um, the biggest challenge that she's ever had was to challenge, like she challenged herself to um, to tell herself daily when she wakes up, what would I do if I loved myself? What would I do if I loved myself to do that every day? Every time you ask yourself this question, you are aware of what are what decisions you are making. If a decision is going to make you feel 
nurtured and make and makes you feel loved or if a decision is destructive. So what I'm feeling here is the moment you become a mother to your own self, the moment you decide that you treat yourself like, a, like an innocent little baby, like an innocent little child that needs, um, you know, positive um, words of affirmations, that needs a good food, that needs enough water, that needs enough sleep, that needs some play time, that needs some relaxing time, once you start doing that, once you start becoming a mother to your own self, seeing the mother inside of you, but also seeing the little child inside of you, once this is happening, all your dreams will come true. You will manifest absolutely anything and everything because I feel this energy of like um, divine feminine and female energy because, you know, the female energy is carrying the baby, you know. We do create life as women. So what I feel is that you are about to have like a huge glow up with this one spirit. What does it actually say? Time for a deep dive. So with the deep dive, I feel here diving deep into what it means to love yourself daily is what I'm feeling here. Um, now let's look at the oh yeah let's look at the other cards so we were talking about a golden lock right look at that there is a treasure here on the card and the treasure is open so i feel like once you do that once you become the mother to your it, like your own mother nurturing and caring for yourself every day like seeing the little um, child in you when you were six you know or when when you were 12 you know I also feel here this is really helpful like when you sit down in front of a mirror and you look into your own eyes and talking to yourself will also because then you can tap into the mother in you but you can also tap into the little child in you when you look into your own eyes so I feel like this will activate literally like magic inside of your magic inside of your heart because the queen of pentacles she's all prosperous she is making money she's making bank look at that she has a, she has a whole treasure there and I feel like the treasure is being unlocked there's no lock on it it's open the treasure is open but it usually has a lock right so that's why I was seeing the golden or hearing the golden lock because the universe wants to let you know once you do that you will manifest big money you will manifest a beautiful career you will be very very abundant you know you will have an excellent career so what I'm also seeing here is these two cards came out together the visionary and take the lead the stack spirit so let your visions take the lead let your let your vision of your dream life take the lead let your journaling every day about your dream life take the lead make this like a big thing in your life make this a big thing in your life let it take the lead you know um what else do we have here we have the seven of pentacles here interesting because this came out together with the dream journal so we have two books here look at that with that energy i see her consistently writing down every day because the seven of pentacles is all about um planting the seeds right and on this card she has a book here look at that there is a book here. So she already wrote down everything in her book. She's already manifesting everything. And now she's tending to things that make her happy. You know, she's like um, getting some grapes that are good for her body. She's out in nature, you know, getting a little, a little bit of relaxation for her mind. So what I'm feeling here is um, when you do all of that in combination, watch how the magic is coming into your life, you know. Because she's not in a rush. She's not in a rush. She's very patient, very at peace, just focusing on whatever she's doing in the present moment. But all her dreams are already manifesting in this little magical book here, you know? Oh, yeah. And then we have Oceanic Oracle or something like that. It says, looking at the underbelly, be sure that you are using your time in the best possible manner. You might consider taking time to organize yourself or perhaps a project you are working on could use some fine tuning. So using your time wisely, making more out of your time, you know, and I feel like the universe and your spirit guides want you to take more time for self-love and self-care, self-reflection and also to use your time to, you know, envision, sit down and, you know, envision it 
or first of all like you can you can do it either way like writing it down sitting down with some meditation music then seeing all the pictures how what your dream life would look like and then going to bed and maybe if you want to you can put like you know, a crystal under your pillow or something that you wrote under your pillow and watch how the magic comes into your life. Watch how everything is manifesting because I feel like you are about to become the best version of yourself. I'm seeing you, you I'm seeing here you having a very beautiful, fulfilling career and I'm also seeing you here. You are becoming like a beautiful swan. Maybe you have been feeling like an ugly duckling, but watch, watch how people will admire you for your beauty inside and out very beautiful now let's look at the spirit guide that is with you what spirit guide is with pile number two let's see spiritual growth oh look at that so you have the spirit guide or the angel around you that is all about spiritual growth it's almost like um your spirit guides want you to tap more into spiritual practices again like mirror work looking into your own eyes or um, meditating and seeing pictures in your mind about what you want or journaling or you know meditating 15 minutes before you go to sleep and envisioning it's like they want you to tap more into other spiritual practices because that's when the magic is happening is what i'm feeling here that's when the, your dreams come true that's when you unlock the treasure because it's like i feel like it's very near because when we already see the lock it means that the treasure's already there it's already there to be unlocked is what i'm feeling here Whew, that was beautiful guys i hope you like this reading and i would love to see you in my next one bye so you chose this beautiful magic potion here <laughs> let's look at your cards oh I channeled some messages for you, so let's look at them. I wrote them down. So I heard you got this. So, well, let's look at the cards because I feel like in order to understand the channeled messages, because I already kind of know what it means, but I feel like it will make more sense when we look at the cards first. But I heard from side to side. So what I'm, I, I saw a vision of you um, going from one page to another in a book. So this could be that you are currently or like that you are currently studying something or like you're at home studying, learning something and you're flipping like pages in a book um, or the universe wants you to learn something. So wants you to pick up a book and read in it. But it could also mean that you are ready for the next chapter in life. That's why we're like, you know, going from one page to another. I also heard, um, yeah, you got this. And I also heard same old, same old. So I feel here that you're done with your old life. You don't wanna, you don't wanna have like your old routine. I feel like you're fed up with the same old habits and the same old life and the same old everything, the same old apartment. It's almost like you want everything new. You want everything, like your life to be completely new. That's why I heard that. And um, I also feel from with a side to side, you could be somebody that is swinging from ener one energy to another. Like you are somebody that one moment you believe in like manifestation and believe in magic and then on the other side you feel very like defeated because of something so you might be like having also mood swings is what i'm picking up here but again let's look at the cards first and then we're getting back to the channeled messages okay let's see oh yeah <laughs> your cards are freaking beautiful honestly Okay, guys, how was that? Okay, it was here. So, what the universe wants you to know. Um, oh, maybe because of that I was seeing that. Because, again, I saw, like, you flipping, like, pages. But you could also have, like, a magazine. Because I'm um, flipping pages in a magazine. Um, because the universe wants you to make a vision board. I also feel this energy here that if you already have a vision board, it's time for an upgrade in your vision board because again we have this energy of like the same old same old maybe things change or maybe like your vision changed so definitely the universe wants you to make a vision board um you know like a little beautiful project you might even want to get some glitter <laughs> and make a beautiful vision board that would 
definitely help you to manifest everything that you wish to manifest. Um, we also have the card intuition here. So I feel like um, this is all about your intuition. The universe also, or your spirit guides also said you got this. So I feel like you already know what to do, how how to manifest your dreams, what exactly how you, you have to do. It's not like it's hidden knowledge from you, but you have such a strong intuition that you already know. The only thing that you have to do is you have to become calm and quiet, like sitting in your room with a candle, with meditation music, without meditation music, or going on a walk, looking at the sky, looking um, at the night sky, and it will click, is what I'm feeling here. It will click, something will click. Once you tap into your intuition, your intuition intuition is very calm and very silent and very subtle. So usually we hear our intuition when we, like for me, it's like when, I, when I'm done having a breakdown or when I'm done crying. <laughs> That's when my intuition kicks in. Um, so what I feel here is um, if you have been feeling like a little bit like heavy, it would be very beneficial for you to cry everything out because that's when your intuition can kick in. But I also feel this energy here of um, finding some quiet time, listening to meditation music in order for your intuition to come through because it's a freaking, I literally feel like it, it, it's going to happen like in night time before you go to bed or just during night time or when you go out on a walk looking at the moon or looking at the sky or looking at the stars. That's when your intuition is very, very strong. So the universe wants to let you know, your spirit guides wants, want to let you know, you got this, you already know how to manifest it, you already know is what I'm feeling here. So they have no doubt about that you're going to manifest that. Um, let's look at the other cards here. So we have... Um, it says the slave, it sounds a little bit dramatic, but it's actually not. It says surrendering, surrendering your power of choice to the divine with complete trust. So um, this is definitely about you trusting the universe, which is a little bit hard because, um, you know, during the time where we want something and during the time where we actually get it, when it's like divine timing, it's a little bit hard because we do get impatient or we do get a little bit like... um. Um, unsure or insecure about this whole process so what I'm feeling here is the universe definitely wants you to meditate every time you feel frustrated every time you feel impatient every time you feel insecure it's time for you to find some quiet time find some quiet time Again, could be a candle, putting on a candle. You could be sitting in your room without any music. This is also, you know, this card, the Hermit card, is also about turning off everything. Don't watch, like, no movies, no nothing, no distraction. Because it, the funny thing is, your our intuition is a silent voice inside of us, right? How can we hear our intuition, our silent voice, when we watch movies or when we watch videos because that's when we hear another person's voice so in order for us to hear our own intuitive voice which is already very very um subtle we must um get rid of auto distraction for like oh like a week or let's say for one hour a day to s uh, sit in complete silence or to sit um with meditation music so there's like even like music, if you listen to music, there's also a lyric. So it's almost like other people tell their story, like a, a song is telling the story, right? Or when you listen to another person talking about their day, they're telling their story. So when would you hear your own voice when you have a voice here, a voice there, a voice here, a voice there? So I feel this energy here of sitting in silence where you can actually really literally hear your own voice, but also the voice of spirit, you know, is what I'm feeling here. Because it's like you're not alone. There is an owl here. Maybe an owl is like a spirit guide. Who? let me see. Okay, now you can see it. So this is like your spirit guide here watching you. And I also feel here... Watch how, your, watch how ideas will come. I swear, meditation is freaking amazing. It's almost like magic. I love meditation because it's like all of a sudden I feel better about myself without... Because I find it so funny. Like meditation is literally putting on music and 
let's say you feel shitty about your life or you feel shitty about a situation, <laughs> put on meditation music for one hour. Even if you cry, just put it on and just, you know, be frustrated and cry anyway. And watch how you will feel way better without anything changing in your circumstances. But the energy inside of you is changing. So what I feel here is that once you start to meditate regularly here and... Um, you, you can finally hear the universe, you can finally hear your own intuition because again, the universe already knows you got this, they already know that you're going to make it is what I'm feeling here. Clear out the clutter. Well, that makes sense because I was talking about other voices, right? You know, it's not, it's not a bad thing, but we do need like an hour a day um, or 30 minutes a day or even like a whole week of no social media. We do need that time and um, for us to be um, in a space where we don't hear any voice but our own and spirit, you know. So it says the frog spirit clear out the clutter. Yeah, that's talking about clearing out the clutter. Things that are cluttering your mind. Things that are cluttering your mind. But also, um, I feel here that your vision board needs an upgrade. So clearing out the clutter, like some things that you don't want to manifest anymore or you want to upgrade something or you want to make like an addition to your to your vision board, it's going to be very beneficial to you. Now let's look at the other cards. You have very beautiful cards. I feel this energy of like you're so powerful and so strong, but you're not fully aware of how strong you are. Now we also have the child magical. It says, seeing the potential for sacred beauty in all things, the belief that everything is possible. And what I'm feeling here is you kind of, you it's like from side to side, you kind of know that everything is possible, but sometimes you find yourself being frustrated, you know, not believing in it. It's like you're, you're swinging from one side to another. Sometimes you believe and sometimes you don't believe. So I feel like you have to find like a middle ground. Mm, yeah, you have to find this middle ground, this being grounded, right? Not swinging from one side to the other, but to find like a middle ground, to be neutral about the situation, you know, to find this peace of knowing that things will work out and that the universe will make things happen. And usually that peace comes with meditating or that peace comes with sitting in silence and sitting in stillness. So, what I'm feeling here is, again, you might find yourself being a little bit frustrated sometimes because you do believe in magic, you do, be you do believe in manifesting your dreams, but you're also like, when it's going to happen, I've been waiting for a long time because she looks like she's getting, you know, bored or frustrated or she's waiting for something. She doesn't necessarily look too happy. <laughs> yeah, it's like you're waiting to manifest it, but it's like, what I'm feeling here is, you are the magic, you are the one that is going to make this happen. Of course the universe is going to help you, but it's like the magic is inside of you, the ideas are inside of you, you know? It's like the knowledge is inside of you already. It's only about tapping into that energy inside of you. I also think it's very interesting how this also looks a little bit similar here and um, with the world card here. So what I feel with this energy you know, the world is all about letting something go. And because this is like, you know, it looks like a black hat. I feel here this is about letting go of destructive beliefs or letting go of like destructive thoughts or like dark thoughts about like it's never going to happen. So to find a way um, to clear the clutter in your mind is what I'm picking up here. To let, letting this go. You know, once you let this energy go that is in your mind telling you it's not going to work or, you know, um, you're not worthy or whatever your chatty mind is telling you, um, you know, once you do that, that's when the magic happens. That's when your dreams are coming true is what I'm feeling here. So it definitely has something to do with like your mental health and also your intuition as well. Let me see. We also have, yeah, <laughs> this came out together open to infinite possibilities open to infinite possibilities the starfish i feel like you're supposed to be somebody that is in the spotlight 
in case you want to be somebody in the spotlight. This is the universe confirming, yes, it's going to happen. You will be in the spotlight with the starfish. But overall, I feel this energy here of um, infinite possibility is also a very interesting term because sometimes our mind is very conditioned to believe a certain way to the point where it cannot fully see everything, you know, like our mind that we have sometimes have beliefs in our mind or like, let's say I am just one person, I have limited experiences, I have limited uh, knowledge, right? I don't have all the knowledge, I don't have all the experiences that every person has, but my thoughts or like my mind is conditioned to think the way I experienced life so far. So with infinite possibilities, I feel this energy here of letting, fully letting go of what you think you know in order for the infinite possibilities and this ideas to come through or for this messages and this information to come through, right? To almost like let go of the way you thought it's going to go because it's like, um, it's so infinite that it's hard for our mind to comprehend, right? So it's also about, um, with inf infinite possibilities, I'm thinking about um, sometimes, I, ha I, ha I also have been writing it down on a piece of paper, sometimes when we want to manifest something, that one question that is really like, <laughs> making us insecure is how is it going to happen but when we make peace with the fact that the universe there could be a million ways how it can manifest so because our mind wants us to know or like our mind tells us you need to know how it's going to work if you don't know how it's going to work it's not going to happen but once we um, accept the fact that there are a million ways how the universe can make this happen. It's almost like when you have, uh, in mathematics, there's always that X, right? You know, you want to make like a, I don't know how you call it in English, but you know, there's always that X, that unknown, that unknown number, that X. So when we say, I want this, I wish for this to happen, and then we combine it with, so this is like my wish, this is my wish, plus the X, which is the universe. This unknown number in mathematics, the X, is the universe. You don't have to know how it's going to happen. You just have to accept the fact that the universe has a million ways how it could happen. So you don't even, you could never, like our mind could never comprehend how all the million ways that it can manifest, you know. So when we accept that fact that the X, the uncertainty, the unknown, how it will happen is the infinity of the universe and that we just let the universe do whatever the universe does. That's when we can find peace with not knowing is what I'm feeling here. Now let's look at the other cards. So we also have the spider spirit, make your dreams real. You know, this is what I'm, I'm feeling here, that the universe will put little synchronicities in your way in order for you to understand that you are already manifesting it. So I feel this energy here, you might think like, oh, you know, I'm not doing enough or...